welcome back. So today I just wanted to do a quick video doing three looks, okay, from a new palette collection that I just picked up. These palettes are from a company that is new to me. I believe they're new to the market as well because I haven't seen them around and when I looked on their website, I only saw one other palette other than this bomb collection that they came out with. But the palettes that I want to talk about today are from a company called Kaleidos. <laughs> I believe that's how you pronounce it, Kaleidos. Take a look at this name and y'all tell me. I think that is Kaleidos. So anyway, they came out with this new eyeshadow collection and it's three eyeshadow palettes with different themes and they're very, very nice, okay? Each eyeshadow palette only has six pans, but the shades are nicely pigmented. They feel like butter. The shimmers are gorgeous. Spoiler alert, I like it, okay? So first I want to show you how they actually sent me the collection. Now you don't have to buy all three. You can buy each palette separately, but of course you know your girl is extra so I went ahead and bought the whole collection. <laughs> now when it comes, it comes in this cute little green box, very very nice. It had this little bow wrapped around it, super duper cute. It's messed up now because y'all know I tore into it. But they sent this like in the nicest packaging. And I really, really like that little extra touch that companies give sometimes. So, you know, when you spend in your coin, <laughs> sometimes it's nice to get something that's a little extra, you know? But this is what it looks like. The box comes, it opens up like this. It says Futurism, which is the name of the collection. And it has nice packaging, nice little foam board protecting the palettes. You get this cute little card. It was tied up in a nice little bow as well. But you get this cute little card, a message from the future. <laughs> and it has a little blurb about the products, the palettes and it has all of their social media. And each palette comes in its own separate box. As you can see, they're nice slender palettes. They're not big humongous palettes. They're just cute little slender palettes that come in these boxes. Like I said, there's three of them. Now my palettes are no longer in here, of course, because I've been playing around with them, so mines are out, but I did go ahead and just put the boxes back in here for safekeeping. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these palettes. Now the palettes have the exact same design on them as the boxes do. So as you can see, it has this really pretty kind of what I would say is like psychedelic, <laughs> but I guess it's supposed to be futuristic theme for the packaging, but I think they are super duper cute. But it makes me feel like something psychedelic, okay? <laughs> so, it does have Futurism 1. This is 1, which is the green palette. Futurism 2, oh, they do have names. So this one is the Sci-Fi Green, Futurism 1. Futurism 2 is the Cyber Bronze and this is what she looks like. So she kind of has like the red packaging with the gold shimmer. And the last one is Futurism 3 and this one is Astro Pink. So it's actually in a really pretty blue packaging. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think the pink name really goes with this palette but you know, I digress. <laughs> it's still gorgeous nonetheless. So let me show you what these palettes look like on the inside. Okay, let's start off with Futurism 1, the Sci-Fi Green. It looks like this. All of the palettes come with a long, thin mirror in the package. On this side, it just says Kaleidos, but these are the shadows that are in this palette. As you can see, it's the really, really pretty, beautiful army green theme that's been going around lately. And honestly, I feel like this beautiful green theme is still in. And since I miss, missed out on the Melt palette, <laughs> I really wanted this one. So I did. This is the reason why I actually wanted to purchase any of these palettes. This was the only one that I wanted initially. But y'all know me. <laughs> I ended up with the set but this palette here is gorgeous 
six shadows there are only two shimmers but the shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous as you can tell I'm wearing this palette right now for this portion of the video now like I said I did do a video for all three of these palettes y'all so I've been working it out for y'all okay now futurism 2 is the cyber bronze so it looks like this you open it up there's a mirror in there as well and these are the colors in this palette oh my goodness do you see those gorgeous 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 very very pretty now these colors remind me a lot of the Pat McGrath palette the last one that she came out the bronze seduction now I wouldn't say the quality is the same but the quality on these palettes is very very good you guys very very good okay and lastly futurism 3 astro pink this is what she looks like she has a mirror of course and these are the colors in this palette and I would say out of the three this one is my second favorite that blue is gorgeous the black is beautiful even though the glitter I don't feel really showed up on my eyes when I used it but it's still really pretty and that white oh my goodness it pops in the corner like it ain't nobody's business okay <laughs> so that is the third one now these palettes do retail for $24 each you can pick up the set for $59 so if you get the set instead of purchasing them separately you will save a few dollars I think about what 13 bucks or something like that on the set so it's a nice little deal and I'm glad that I went ahead and got the set quite honestly I haven't really enjoyed using palettes this much in a little while in a little while okay so i really really would say that this formula is really nice let's go ahead and jump into some swatches so you can check those out so this is futurism one which is the palette that i'm wearing currently these mattes feel like silk very very nice the shimmers are gorgeous beautiful this is futurism 2 very very pretty as well nice swatches as you can see if you're of a lighter skin tone than i am this will really really pop on you very nicely Futurism 3. I know it probably looks like I didn't swatch anything <laughs> for these first two shades, but those two shades are extremely light. Very, very light colors, as you can see here in the palette. Super duper light. And so that's why they're not showing up on my wrist. They're pretty close to skin tone for me. But this is Futurism 3. I don't know if you can see now that blue oh my gosh gorgeous that maroon shade that silver that black all of those are just super duper pretty I really really like the look that I created with this palette which you will see later on in the video if you stick around for that but like I said this is my second favorite palette I really like this green palette because this is the reason why I bought the collection in the first place but I must say you guys I am not disappointed in these palettes at all honestly I feel like this was a great indie brand decision purchase for me you guys know I try all kind of indie brands the cheap ones the expensive ones some of them disappoint some of them don't this one and these palettes did not disappoint with me using testing out all three of these palettes even though I've only used them once I know that I really like them a lot and I'm going to be reaching for these palettes more often especially this green one along with my favorite green palette which is the Juvia's Place green palette love that thing okay this one is a very very close runner up I really really like it so just my initial thoughts on this collection and how I feel about these palettes I think the packaging is bomb I think the 
pigment is very very nice nicely buildable they blend out just seamlessly the shimmers are nicely pigmented buttery they pop honestly I kind of felt like these gold shimmers did a little bit better when I didn't spray my brush than when I did spray my brush so that is very nice but yeah overall I am really really loving how these palettes performed the color stories just everything about them now I noticed on the package it says something about minimum fallout or something like that there is kick up in the pan, okay? It's not anything crazy like subculture or anything like that, but there is kick up in the pan, I will say that. So even though they claim that there's very minimal fallout, it's a little bit fallout and kick up in that pan, okay? But like I said, I don't mind because the pigmentation showed and I had a really good time creating these looks. So I don't wanna just talk, talk, talk about it so much, but I did want to share this collection with you guys, create some looks. Hopefully you like the looks I created. So if you'd like to see what I did with these three palettes, then stick around because it's coming up next.